friends, today we're going to be making a gizmo ukulele based on these plans which I have made for you and uploaded. You'll find them just under this video. Uh, basically what that means is I take a normal ukulele and I add four guitar tuning pegs onto it, making it into an eight string ukulele, which is a ukulele that has four pairs of strings actually. So you play it just like a normal ukulele, but it has a little bit deeper sound, sort of as if a guitar with its deep soothing voice made a baby with a ukulele and its high pitch energy, all in one instrument. Um, in this case, I'm going to be making it with this, based on this Bugs Gear ukulele, which is a very nice ukulele. It's a, it's a soprano ukulele, small, so small size. It's made of plastic, but for a plastic ukulele, it really has a nice sound. If you have another ukulele, you can also do it with your other ukulele. Maybe you'll have to adapt things a little bit too, but it's possible. Just maybe don't take uh, one that's too expensive for the first time you do this, because you never know and you don't want to destroy a nice $400 ukulele. So basically, I'm going to be taking this and making holes in it and changing things around a little bit, you'll see. This is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm going to discover along with you if it works or not. I'll be showing you how to make your own gizmo 8-string ukulele, but if you just want to see how it sounds, you can skip towards the end of the video, where I play a few things for you before and after the gizmo mod. Along with the plans that you can download under this video, you will also have these instructions, which basically tell you how to make your gizmo ukulele, and in theory, you don't even need this video, so it's just here to help you out. You see here the Bugs Gear ukulele, which I showed you before. Here you have the Makala Soprano Dolphin ukulele, uh, which is also, I actually made the plans nicely compatible with this. And you can even see in the background, you also have the plans for the other, for this Makala ukulele. So if you have one of these, it's fine too. It's another cheap ukulele, also made of plastic. Here you have a mandolin. This has eight strings. This is why I'm showing it to you. It has four double strings, just like the, uh, just like the gizmo ukulele. And here is a s little sneak peek at my upcoming alien ukulele, which also has, also will be an eight-string ukulele, and has a drum, and is totally handmade from aluminum bars. This will be, you'll see this in another video. Along with the instructions, you also get a list of the things that you'll need to make your gizmo ukulele. So first you'll need a ukulele, of course, then full closed guitar tuning pegs, like this. They actually come in packs of six, have four, and uh, they're pretty cheap because they're mo the most standard. You might also need some washers like this, that are just the right size to go on this piece of your guitar tuning pegs. Of course, strings. Uh, you have details on the plan as to which strings I think sound good for eight string instruments. Some tools, a drill, some drill bits, different sizes, uh, so 9.5 millimeter, 6 millimeter, a little 1 millimeter mesh, or a little tool like this, which replaces a drill mesh, but you can use it with your hand. You can make one yourself by taking a 1 or 1.5 millimeter normal drill bit and wrapping it in tape. Nail clipper. This is super useful because it has this little file here for your fingernails. Very nice for making a ukulele too. Metal saw, like this. It's the one with the very small little teeth on it. Actually, you don't even really need this saw, you just need this part of the saw. And if you're traveling, you don't even really need that. You can just use your little nail clip file for everything. This is a really cool tool. A thin Sharpie permanent marker. Thin so that you can make precise marks with it. Some tape and some scissors. If you want to protect yourself, you will need security glasses these ear protection things, and of course, your shield, and gloves, and a pepper spray. You need a pepper spray. Anyway, on the plan you print it out, you first check that it's the right size, that it's printed out correctly, by measuring the place here where it says check. And if that's all good, you start cutting it out. 
you cut out the shape of the head here. So I'll start by untuning and removing all the strings. What's nice with the Bugsier ukulele is that you can just to remove the strings with this very simple little system, click, they come out, and you can remove them here. Of course, keep your strings for later, they're still perfectly useful little strings. After I've done this, I just remove the, unscrew the tuning pegs one by one. This feels strange. You can still use your naked ukulele as a drum. Now I check that it all fits nicely on the head, I bend this little part down here and I Start taping it on. I start by taping here at the bottom, making sure it's nicely aligned. It fits nicely. Now that it's nicely aligned with the existing slots and with the sides, I can make new lines where the new strings will go, which is indicated on here for the Bugs Gear ukulele. If you have some other ukulele, uh, you'll have to figure out yourself, but you have these little red lines to help you. These are the ideal spots and you'll see in the instructions how to adapt it to your ukulele. So at this point, if you have a ukulele other than the Makala or this Bugs Gear here, you'll want to check that the little slots, the little marks you just made, are spaced correctly. And to do so, you'll take a ruler or anything straight and just check that where the string will run from the tuning peg to its little mark, make sure that it won't overlap any of the other strings and make sure that it won't overlap on the tuning pegs of any of the other strings. If you have the Makala or the Bugs, you have done that for you, so it should be just fine. Now we can start cutting with the saw and uh, making the slots. At this point, don't make them deep yet, just a little mark to, to start your slot. You can make the slots a little bit deeper, but never too deep. And, uh, you can always check with uh, using a thin string that you, from your ukulele that uh, it never runs any deeper than the existing slots so that the strings don't get too close to the fretboard which would make it buzz. In fact, uh, cutting less deep isn't a problem because you can always cut deeper later. It's much more annoying if you cut too deep. If you want to make it larger, for example for this first string which will be, um, which will be a thick string, you can make it larger using your handy nail clip file and just just dig in. <laughs> I like making all the slots as thick as the thickest string, but if you want to make the slots for the high pitch strings thinner, then you can do that. Just make sure always that uh, there's enough spacing between the both strings in the pair, that they don't get too close, not less than the spacing you see on the printout. Before starting to drill holes, just make sure that the little tuning pegs that came with your ukulele are really six millimeter. It should be the case because it's just a standard size, but still check just in case. And check that the ones that you bought, the closed guitar tuning pegs that you bought, are really 9.5 millimeter, like the ones, the standard ones that I bought. Basically, the goal will be to drill big 9.5 millimeter holes where there's big 9.5 millimeter circles, and smaller six millimeter holes where there's smaller six millimeter circles. Uh, you don't want to drill the, the little attachment dots for the attachment screws later on because those will go at the back. If you have one of these little manual drill meshes, it's, uh, you can actually start out the holes using this instead of the electric drill mesh. It's a little bit more precise and you'll see plastic is very easy to drill through anyway. And then drilling a bigger hole to make it the full size. Drill nice and straight now. I've made uh, two holes for to show you already, and the the tuning pegs fit right in. You can already, uh, can already put them into check that you're making the right size and everything is good. Now I have all my holes, and it fits. Isn't it pretty? You might need to make a few adjustments with the drill until it all fits in nicely. But once that's all good and you're happy, you can make dots where there's the little holes to put the attachment screws. If you're really motivated, you can also print out the, the plan once again and stick it on the back. But you really don't need to do this, you just make sure that the spacing is correct between the, between the tuners so they don't hit each other when they're flat like this. Before putting the pegs on for the final time, you can remove this piece of paper and there might be little pieces of plastic inside the head, so just shake it around and get them out. All screwed in, it's beautiful. Now one extra thing I had to do was to take these washers 
and to add them to the guitar tuning pegs to add an extra layer of thickness depending on the size of the, your ukulele's uh, head you might need one or two or maybe you won't need any you can spin none of them are touching when they're flat that's what's important i tried several ways to make these little holes for the attachment screws a two millimeter drill will work but by far my favorite was the one millimeter hand drill it's perfectly balanced the last step before we can put the strings back on is to put to make the little attachment point here on the bottom on the saddle of the ukulele so on the bugs your ukulele we'll do this by making little extra slits on a normal ukulele like the makala here we will use this one meter one millimeter hand drill or some other drill that you can use with your hand and uh, to pierce some extra holes First you need to just mark it. Use the same distances as we have here on the top. One way to do that would be to print it out again and to, to note down the same distances as you have here on the top. Or another way to do it is just to measure. I prefer measuring it with a ruler because it's simple. You just measure 2.5 millimeters beside the, the slit of the existing string. Maybe a little bit more is okay. Up to three millimeters would be okay, but no less than 2.5 millimeters so that the strings aren't too close together and don't buzz together. Here we go. So as you can see, we now have these little shapes which sort of resemble an ancient writing system. And um, that means you can put the string in and either slide it to the right in the original slot that they have or to the left in the new slot that you just created. And the easiest way to make this in the end was not the nail clipper unless you have a super high-tech nail clipper but rather the two milli one millimeter hand drill, manual drill. Uh, you could also do this with uh, an electric drill, but it would be less easy to be precise. So really, this is the best. I'm using Aquila Super Nalgut Soprano Ukulele strings with a low G. Instead of having a high G, it has this red string, which is a low G, uh, and a low G is great for an 8-string ukulele. You just need to make one little stupid little knot like this, and slide it in, and you attach it at the top, that's all you need to put a new string. I think all ukuleles should have this. Hey there, welcome to the past. So, this is before the gizmo mod. Such is a way of the world you never know. You just will put all your faith, and how will it grow? Gonna rise up, bring back holes and dark memories. Gonna rise up, throw my face down the road. Now, after the gizmo mod. Such is the way of the world you never know. Just to put all your faith and how will it go? Gonna rise up, bring you back holes and dark memories. Gonna
last year She told me don't you worry if I disappear I told her I'm not really looking at another mistake I just told no friend thinking trouble could wait So, as you can see, the gizmo mod worked out nicely, it all fits in, and it sounds pretty nice. It has a little bit deeper sound, a little bit richer sound, and a little bit more volume. But it's up to you if you prefer the sound of a gizmo ukulele like this, or of a normal soprano ukulele. And it's up to you if you're motivated enough to make it yourself. As for me, I'm really happy with the sound of this, so I'm going to be making another video uh, where I make the same gizmo mod on my Soprano Makala Dolphin ukulele, which is one of the cheapest ukuleles you can find. And we'll be comparing the sound of both of these on a quest to get the best sounds out of the cheapest ukuleles. So if you're interested in that, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can just check back later when the next video will be ready. As for the plans that you got with this, they're totally free. You can download them, you can share them, you can even modify them, you can add new gadgets for the gizmo ukulele. It's, uh, in a way, it's like an open source ukulele mod. You can do anything you want, as long as you keep on sharing them for free. Um, I'll also be making another video on how to make your own ukulele from aluminum bars from scratch, all by hand. Uh, in the same way, you'll have plans that will be available that you can download, and in the same way, uh, you can just stick the plans on and cut and make holes, and it's pretty simple to do. So if you're interested in that, I'll see you later. Uh, so enjoy your days, and have a great time. Thanks for watching.